Okay, 14 part A, we've got um, some patterns with squares in. Um, this one's got one, two, three, four, five squares in. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And hopefully you can see every time we get adding two more to the sides and one on the bottom. So we're adding, adding three on every time. Um, so we can make a rule for that sequence. Um, so the nth term this is, is all this is. So that's going to be 3n um, plus 2. Okay, part C, uh, sorry, B says that Jacob uses four, 948 squares in total in making the first K patterns. So in other words, the sum of the first K squares for some number K is 948. We know that we've got an arithmetic sequence here with a starting value of five and a common difference of three. So we can just use the rule for um, the sum of the first k terms and show that that is going to be um, so sk is n over 2 um, sorry that's going to be k over 2 times 2a so 10 plus k minus 1 times d which is 3 and we need that to equal 948. If we multiply this out, uh, well, let's double it first. 948 times 2 is going to be 1896. So we've got k lots of 10 plus um, 3k take 3 is equal to 1896. Expanding this, well, there's a 7 there, so that should be 7 plus 3k, which we're going to expand. 7k plus 3k squared equals 1896 and if we move the 1896 you'll see where this is heading switch it round as well put the quadratic part at the front gives us what they had 